What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to tell you about the town you have to visit this holiday season. I am a Hunterdon County resident and a licensed New Jersey realtor. So if you have any questions about visiting the area or moving here, I would be grateful to help. Now let's get to it. Okay, this town you have to visit this holiday season is the town of Clinton, New Jersey. Located in Hunterdon County, right off the 78 highway, about 20 minutes west of 287, this town has bountiful activities to do this holiday season. The holiday festivities kick off in Clinton with the Dickens Days. The town transforms back to the days of Charles Dickens. We're talking horse and carriage rides, carolers, old school feel. Okay, so you're going to want to check the Clinton Guild, the Town of Clinton Guild calendar for all the events that are happening in town over Dickens Day. But some highlights are Boy Scouts will be around selling wreaths, Christmas wreaths. Girl Scouts will be selling cider and other things as well. There'll be carolers, there'll be a ballet performance one day, um, choirs, there'll be just lots of cool feel. There'll be uh, Victorian characters walking around too with kind of their Martha Washington-esque uh, outfits going on. This is a cool way to enjoy uh, the kickoff of the holiday season in the town of Clinton. So what is the holiday season without some holiday shopping? What you can go to in Clinton is the Winter Village at the Red Mill. At the Red Mill, they have two weekends, November 24th to the 26th, and then the following weekend from 10 to 6, you can purchase things from over 45 local vendors. We're talking everything from paintings, crafted wood, shot glasses, you name it, you can probably find it there. And you're probably not gonna find it other places because these are all unique local vendors. This is a paid event. Um, it's only $12 for people 12 and up, and it's $10 for kids six to 12 and for seniors and for kids under six years old, it is a free event. Uh, there's also lots of food and drink vendors there too. So you can spend your whole day there, do your shopping, get your lunch. The last cool thing about the Winter Village is there will be a Santa there as well. So you can get your Santa pictures in if you have not done that yet. Uh, free thing, so no pressure. Uh, he will just be there um, sort of near the entrance. So you can check that off your holiday to-do list all while getting some shopping done and supporting small local businesses. For this next event, you are gonna to need to bundle up, bring your scarves, bring your mittens, bring your beanies. Just talking about the Town of Clinton Christmas Parade. This is the attraction that's gonna happen on Main Street, cruise throughout the town. But if you're coming into town, you wanna get here early, find parking before it starts. It starts at seven, so I recommend coming down here around five have some dinner, taqueria, maybe at one of the restaurants around here, and then enjoy the parade. There's a bunch of people coming from local businesses to fire trucks, police cars, all decked out for the holiday. So you get to see them cruise down Main Street. There'll be a Santa, of course, waving to the kids, ringing the bell. It can be a little loud for younger kids. So if you wanna bring headphones, last year I bought headphones for my my baby daughter and it was great um so she didn't have to you know hear the super loud noises and be in shock but still taking all the sights um so the town of clinton parade parking is a little tough so you, like i said you want to get here earlier you might be able to find parking near the fox lumber or the lansdowne trail be ready to walk a little bit bundle up um, but this is a great event you can experience without having to go to new york city and and catch all of that traffic and pay all the tolls Next, let's talk about the Festival of Trees. This also occurs at the Red Mill. You can view these when you're walking around the Winter Village casually. Um, these are done by people who just enter into the competition and they decorate four to six foot trees and also six to eight foot trees. And then they are judged by a panel. You can also do a public vote too. Look around and find your favorite tree. This is just a cool way to see people's creativity 
and see different themes they put into Christmas trees. There are five different themes that people compete in for the uh, Festival of Trees. We got best representation of a theme. These can be like movie theme, TV themes, anything like that. Uh, there's child's fantasy. So these are probably gonna be kids' movies, kids' books, different things that kids would see and go, wow. We got creative genius. These are just the most creative ones that you can think of, they can think of. Most traditional, so just the classic traditional, think of a classic Christmas movie, and that's the tree. And then the last one is Spirit of Nature, which that is open to imagination. I am excited to see what that actually means on paper or on tree. Lastly, if you're interested in entering the winners, get a $100 prize and they get bragging rights as well. So what will the holiday season be without shopping? Coming to Clinton, you're gonna find lots of small businesses to shop from, all while going up and down a decorated main street. Some of the great places to go are, we have Forquette, which you can find all these artisanal olive oils, fancy olives, all types of really nice foods that I normally wouldn't eat, but you gotta treat yourself around the holidays. There's Kalani's Pickles, where you can try all types of craft pickles and other treats they have. There's Primrose and Poppy, which is a children's clothing store. This is one of my favorites. I found this wonderful football dress for my daughter there in, this, in the summer and uh, kind of obsessed with football. So that was like, oh my, this is amazing to put on her. There's other clothing stores to visit. There's a doll shop. Um, so all kinds of cool shops to visit. So it might be a little cold when you come into Clinton this holiday season. So what better way to warm up than some hot chocolate or a hot cup of coffee? There's two spots to go for coffee in town. Uh, there is City Spot Coffee and there is Riverside Coffee. They both are excellent. It's really just your preference of which one calls to your taste palate. Another great way to warm up is with a nice bowl of soup and a hot lunch or breakfast at Clinton Town Restaurant. Clinton Town Restaurant's been open since 1979. It's open from eight to three on the weekdays, seven to three on the weekends. The line can get a bit busy like most breakfast spots or lunch spots can get, uh, but it's well worth the wait. This is a family run business that's been in town for a very long time. Great people and great food. Uh, I've gone there many, many times and I have yet to get anything I did not love. There's other places to stop in and eat as well. If you're feeling some tacos, we have a new taqueria in town, Italian food, great pizza over at Toscana right on Main. So plenty of places to get warm, shop, shop till you drop, eat again, go back out, do some more shopping, do some more festive things in the town of Clinton this holiday season. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you can get out to Clinton this holiday season and enjoy all that it has to offer. Once again, if you have any questions about moving to Hunter and County or just Clinton or Hunter and County in general, I'd be glad to help. Everybody have a wonderful, great, awesome, stupendous holiday season and a wonderful day. Peace out.